Hi everyone, welcome to It's K Time. It's me, Mitchell Trench, and welcome to my reaction video for Sai's other MV that's come out today called Napao Baji. And if you want to check out my MV reaction to Daddy, then check it out as well because I've done that. I'm in my home. It's a really nice day here. It's a really hot summer day. First day of summer, woohoo. And I wanted to do it like with this nice backdrop of a mountain and on my balcony, but my face is too dark. So I will show you the view. So very pretty. Anyway, so I am doing Napabaji. So I'm really excited for this one as well. And I want to get a feel of what this one is. So like I said, so I, um, although he's very influential, he's not really up there in my kind of K-pop. He's not the kind of K-pop star that I listen to. I listen to people like EXO, Super Junior, obviously, is my favorite. Um, like B1A4, who I saw. Um, who else? Like BAP. You know, so many. Kara, Brown Eyed Girls. They're the kind of people. And Brown Eyed Girls, like, you know, he, that, that make gentlemen, but you know, that's the kind of style that I'm into. So anyway, now Pa Baji, reaction video, let's go. When I scoot over, let's go, go. Okay, trumpet, jazzy feel already. <laughs> I don't know. It's 70s style. Okay. Oh my god, he's singing like bull singing. He's on the toilet again. I feel like that's been done. It wouldn't be a side video without this version. Haha, <laughs> 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 the Oscar like look alike. Of course, Oscar going to. Oh my god, like a David Letterman on NBO. Like NBC. Uh -huh, that's cool. I actually like this one better than Daddy. Is that the dance of the guy that was in the list? But although, having said that, I'm kind of over the jazzy style of songs. Like, how many trumpet hooks can you listen to? I did like um, Something by TVXQ. I like TVXQ as well. Like. But Something by TVXQ. She got the song soon. But it's like the last jazzy kind of song I've really been into. K pop or Western. What's the dance move? 
on the court. I love that. <laughs> okay. Keep dreaming, Sai. Keep dreaming. So this is the seventh album, guys. It's been around since 2002, I think, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. Who would have thought someone that South Korean government banned his CDs from purchase in South Korea due to the explicit nature and due to, you know, what he was rapping about. To <laughs> fast forward a few years later to him actually being the ambassador for like Tourism South Korea for, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's, and being like the most recognizable Korean in the world. <laughs> and being the face of K-pop in Western media and having the most viewed YouTube video, like 2.5 billion, I think, at the moment. So, you know, it's it's craziness what happens, has happened to Sai. And I like that he could have gone off into, you know, tangent land with, you know, all his other, like, Indoscope label people. Um, but yeah. I heard a rumor that he was going to work with Justin Bieber. I heard a rumor G-Dragon was going to work with Justin Bieber. And I'm kind of glad that never eventuated. But, um, yeah. But, anyway, he could have done all that. But he stuck to his roots. I think he got a bit of slack last year when he had Hangover with Snoop Dogg. And maybe people think it was a little bit Americanized. But, you know, he had a lot of Korean references in there. He had a lot of, you know, K-pop references in there. He's never straight away. And what I do like, um, you know, he's done thing. He's done what I didn't think he would do, and that is really just stick to what he was doing before and doing K-pop stuff. And I know that time's going to come by. Like these two songs, I mean, Napa has had 795,000 views. The as what I'm looking at right now. Daddy, I think, had 2 million, which, I mean, is very good for something that's been out for, like, 13 hours. It's it's good, but I, I have a feeling that his popularity isn't going to be <laughs> as big as Gangnam Style and as big as Gentleman. I think it's going to decrease, 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 decrease. I wonder if Daddy will make it to 100 million views. I don't think that Papa Aji will. But, you know, <sighs> this is the right way to go in terms of looking at it from a K-pop perspective. So, you know, I give Sai credit because he's doing what I didn't think he would do. And I actually like Napabaji a lot more than Daddy. Daddy has a good hook line. I, I will see Daddy in the clubs, you know, we will. Napabaji though, um, you know, it's good. I, I'm kind of over the jazziness, so I'm over the trumpet hook. You know, there's only so much you can do with a trumpet hook. And you know, you listen to it in K-pop and Western music. I mean, I loved Problem by Ariana Grande, but then you're like, oh, Focus, like, oh, great, another trumpet hook. And it happens with K-pop as well. Like, um, do, 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 Ailey, you and I, you and I, 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 you and I, 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 you and I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, anyway. So um, check out Ailey, you and I, if you're not a big K-pop love, um, yeah, big K-pop fan. Check that out. But yeah, you know, You and I by Ailey, Something by TVXQ, and um, they're also Japanese one. Um, <laughs> Dunaman. Oh my God, what's it called? Sweat. The Japanese one from last year. And um, yeah. And then um, there was that other one. I got you, baby. Oh, anyway. Figure that one's good now. But yeah, so it's been done in K pop. Yeah. I feel like they're just kind of going on that wave again with the trumpet hook, which I hope will be done by the end of this year. It won't be a 2016 problem. And yeah. So anyway, I did like that. I liked, I actually liked the MV a lot more as well. I liked that it was really creative and it was kind of saying like, you know, he did one thing in that video and he just like exploded into popularity and fame. 
he was doing night shows in America and stuff on NOC or whatever. It was so funny with the David Letterman lookalike and all that. You know, it was kind of a reflection of his life in a way, I feel like. And I like the 70s theme and Napa Baji. Napal, Napal, Napal. Like, I'm going to remember that. Whereas I know a lot of people won't remember that. But that's the kind of stuff I look for in a K-pop video. And he, he, the first verse, he sang most of it. So I was really shocked at that. Anyway, I um, enjoyed that one the most. So yeah, that's my reaction. I do lots of K-pop MV reactions. So check out that by subscribing to see all my videos. Like and comment as well. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'm going to be doing my best of 2015 K-pop videos. I think a top 20 this year I am doing that and that should be up very shortly if you're watching this in like the future it's probably already up so subscribe check it out if you're waiting for that video subscribe and you'll get the video anyway until next time bye